Runes are the single most important currency in Elden Ring. Use them to buy stuff, more importantly to level up. Today we're talking about where to farm them early game. Typically I would recommend just go explore if you can't find a boss. The Elden Ring map is huge and there's tons to do. I still haven't uncovered, I guess, like half of it. Uh, but yeah, it's massive. But sometimes you just want to hunker down and do the same things over and over. So we're talking about five good places to do that, starting from like earliest game to a little bit later, which is why we're here at one of the very first sites of grace. But yeah, let's start with, uh, I guess, number five here. And this is this big troll man up in here. You will have some arrow dudes firing at you. So like having a shield or something is good. I always lure him outside of the gate for two reasons. One, so I don't have a barrage of arrows coming at me. And two, because I can mount my horse. Uh, I prefer to fight this guy on horseback just because I find it a lot easier. I actually didn't farm this guy too often, but yeah, basically the only thing he can really do if you're right under him is like stomp and that doesn't do a massive amount of damage. Uh, obviously I can kill him a little bit faster as I'm a bit higher level by now, but yeah, you know, easy 1000 runes. You're right at the site of grace. Uh, you can just teleport back here or rest and he'll respawn, go back in there, rinse and repeat. If you want to have some fun, of course, you can go and like kill the uh, guards as well. Although I think all of them combined might give you a thousand and it takes way longer. So it's just less effective. So at number four, we have uh, Limgrave at Tower Bridge. I've actually been doing this one a lot lately. Uh, it's with the three big giants. They can also drop some other pretty cool stuff like smithing stones and... Uh, uh, great arrows from the arrow dude back there, but this I found is pretty easy as well Mostly because they'll just kill each other although once you are more comfortable with them you can take it into your own hands So yeah, you know, they're extremely slow not too hard to avoid They do get a little angry when you start <laughs> chomping at their feet, but uh, yeah Basically all three of these guys will spawn more or less at the same time the arrow dude back there um, will actually be your friend here. He does have a certain range though, so what I like to do is kind of stick around this area behind this pillar, safe from the arrows, and the golems will kind of clump up here. So as you can see, one of the, uh, one of the dudes just got shot there, disabled for a bit. You can take this opportunity to, uh, die. But yeah, basically if you just stand near this pillar and try and avoid their attacks, uh, the, <laughs> the arrow man back there will kind of mess them up for you. And then when they fall down, you can get a few hits off. You can, of course, be as aggressive as you want. Even if you die right here, it's easy to get your runes back. The golems themselves will also hurt each other. That's just how it is in this game. They don't do a ton of damage to each other, but more importantly, they do disable each other. So when there's only one left, I do get a little bit more aggressive and just want to kill them. And once those two are taken care of, the arrow guy back here is very easy to uh, deal with as well. Uh, basically, if you just want to not even have to bother with dodging, just line yourself up with that pillar over there and he'll just hit the pillar instead. Don't get too close or you will get damaged by the arrow also. Wait till he fires and keep going. Just go under his feet. All he can do is stomp. Like, it's really not a big deal at all. Oh yeah, he can also breathe fire. He usually doesn't do that for me, but, uh, <laughs> this time was an exception. And there it goes. So this method does take a little bit longer, but again, each one of them gives you uh, a thousand runes, so 3000 total. And it's still a relatively early location. If you want to just do it again, you can travel back here. Another pretty early game one, although definitely tougher than the other two in my opinion, is coming here to the War Master's Shack, uh, Site of Grace. Again, very close by to early game stuff. And going south at this point, you'll find more of these trolls just out in the wild if you're ready to take on more than one at a time. There's a total of five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. They're all somewhat spread out, so you don't have to kill all five at once. Much like the giants on the bridge, these can hurt each other as well. And then once there are only a few left or just some with some little HP, you can clean them up one after the other. This next spot is a little bit outside of Limgrave and you need to uh, hit up a teleporter to get there. So we're starting at Third Church of Marika, which is uh, pretty close to the starting area as well. But essentially, once you get to the Third Church of Marika, there is a river uh, sort of behind it. And if you go this way, you will see this shiny light pointing to a teleporter, a little bit hidden here. And you arrive here. I do recommend first turning around and visiting this site of grace in here. And yeah, try and avoid this big dude. He is a lot harder than what we're here for. So we have these tiny little enemies here. We are going to kill them. You can sneak up and each of these little dudes gives you a thousand runes. If you are a little bit stronger and, and are patient enough to sneak attack them all, 
Uh, this is probably one of the best places, but uh, they do a ton of damage, so you have to be careful. As you can see, I almost just got one shot. They are quite the glass cannons, but they're going to be much faster to farm than, say, those giants earlier. Thankfully, if you do happen to die, your rune shouldn't be too hard to get back to, as all these enemies are super spread out. And uh, the chance they're going to kill you before you can grab them again is very low. Like I said, the enemies here are very small and a little bit hard to see. So using the target feature helps a little bit with that. There is also a Sight of Grace a little bit south of this location, where you won't have to worry about potentially waking up that big boss up there. Also, if you're going for the sneak attack strategy, just equipping the strongest weapon you have is a good idea. This last one, I guess, should be mentioned, although it's not really a recommendation. Over here in Fort Pharaoh, uh, just a bit more south of where we were farming those little uh, rogue dudes. It's a pretty well-known trick for getting a massive amount of runes. However, it's a one-time thing. As far as I've been reading, it's still unknown if this will have consequences later on. We have this massive dragon here. You can kill it for, I believe it was 80,000 runes. It won't fight back. It'll just take a while. I'm personally not going to do that for two reasons. For one, it's still unknown as far as I've read if it will or will not lock you out of some quest later on. And secondly, this big dragon harbors some baby dragons you can farm for 3,500 hundred runes each and they will respawn every time you you know rest at a site of grace or whatever you can see them on the other side of the gate there so essentially you're choosing between like 80k one-time runes or these 3500 from these dragons you can see they start with half hp i'm probably still not strong enough to actually kill them but this will be a pretty good rune farming spot i mean 3500 per dragon with and they start with half hp already it's pretty nice but yeah i've heard those will disappear if you kill the big mama dragon Ah, uh, well, we almost killed it. It had like one or two hits left, but then it one shot at us. So <laughs> definitely possible. Just not going to bother with it right now, except for the fact he's literally laying on my runes. Um, just thank you. So yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it. Uh, there are, are, of course, some spots a much later into the game against harder enemies and such. But this is more focused on early to mid game. If you can handle it, the uh, Bestial Sanctum, uh, I would say, would be the fastest. Uh, because, again, you can get there from Limgrave, just from this third church, and then there's the teleporter there, etc. As we talked about there. Personally, for me, though, I don't do a ton of rune farming. I'm more about exploration and just killing enemies when I come across them and gaining runes that way. But I do understand the need and desire to become stronger to make the really, really tough bosses a bit easier to deal with. So I do fancy myself a little bit of efficiency every now and then. Um, but yeah, make sure to tell me what you think. If you have any other good uh, early mid-game locations, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Leaving a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.